Hello my friends, John is here and in this video as usual I will share with you results of uh, trading this week and uh, also uh, a little bit of thoughts on gold uh, movements for this coming week and uh, I'm going to show you results on uh, FX Blue and uh, as you can see guys this week uh, I've made slightly well three thousand six hundred dollars so slightly less than four thousand and um, just want to show you um, as usual uh, just that is my main account okay so you can see nothing is floating and uh, that's uh, a little bit of uh, if I'll go down a little bit more statistics for you guys so uh, that's the uh, main account and once again I have been sending the um, signals to my telegram channel as you can see again uh, the address is Jana FX and all the trades closed out with profits so nothing is open nothing is floating uh, right now so that's it and uh, once again guys the um, results I have uh, slightly different of course I have I had more trades using the um, another setting in my EA which is uh, fully automatic okay but what I'm going to do guys, I have already created a new account, so just want to show you. Well actually I want to show you that I have been using this new setting, so you know this is my uh, JFX Line Trader Pro EA, which I use um, semi-automatically, right? So I'm looking for the possible entry points, I'm placing my pending orders, and then EA takes over the trade, right? And it runs it. And um, I have... Um, put another setting in it, fully automatic, based on RSI uh, signal, and it was one of the suggestions of one of my viewers, and um, I was testing it for, well, at least May and um, a little bit of April, and you see the results are quite nice. I also was applying it to another account, which I'm going to show you right now, it's uh, also quite old account. I'm having it on A markets. I have been showing it to you before, guys, um, and um, I can show you the whole history that this one has been running for quite a while. And this is more of the um, testing different strategies. You can see I started it in 2021. Um, okay, so the deposit was in 21, but started it uh, January 22, and. Uh, so right now I have a profit on this account, as you can see, 3,200. Uh, I still have some floatings on this. It's a bit different strategy I have been using. So uh, one of the strategies, as you know, guys, this been I've been showing to you on my FX book. I will show you sometime another day. So just don't want to spend too much time. Just wanted to get to the point. So this was running. These trades are open. Uh, since March you see the uh, four trades they're still sitting there and these are three trades a new ones from the um, EA um, the uh, full automatically right the one which runs full on full auto and just want to show you that I had really good results again on this account so I want to show you well I'll show you from April um, okay, the results so just a second, I need to move. Um, so um, is that April we have? First of April and uh, the whole month of April, I'm going to show you first. Okay, so um, we see the results of uh, 8,869. Uh, okay, so that was uh, last month on this uh, fully automatic um, strategy. Um, but the lot size grown up quite a bit. So I would say, guys, you see the uh, lots lot gone to one lot, okay? So, I mean, not as big, big, but for this size account, it's a little bit too much because it's under $10,000. And uh, I don't like uh, when um, the, it's recovery, obviously, the system, the EA uses exactly my system with the recovery, but the entry points are based not on my entries. You see, the, the entry points here based on the signal from RSI. And, uh, you know, when uh, we get uh, losing trades, uh, I need a big move. I need a big move to close those uh, trades and uh, make us profit. So cover the losses and make profits, okay? So, and for that, the uh, original lot size on this was uh, starting from 0.02, as you can see here, that setting, the exact setting. So this is pretty much um, 
um, scalping combination with um, ha closing half positions, running on a trailing stop. So like I'm saying, basically my strategy uh, and uh, recovery increasing the lot size. As you can see, the lot size gone quite, quite high. So the, the problem is I can't check what the drawdown was. I mean, yes, it was quite actually a, um, a big drawdown. And uh, but I, that's why I wanted to separate uh, and have a separate account, which I did open a new account. But I want just to show you, look, is this made in April? And I want to show you now the uh, month of May and we are not even finished yet. That's uh, the results in May, as you can see from 1st of May uh, until um, today. Uh, it's already made $578 and this is completely hands free. OK, so I really like this. This time the lot size gone to 0.24, which is OK for this uh, uh, amount. That's not too bad. OK, so um, but uh, previous month was a little bit tough. So because now we are going into more end of uh, spring, beginning of summer, it's usually very hard time for trading. And then when gold and the pairs can go a bit more flat. OK, and that's what I worry about. And that's why I'm not sure if I will be applying uh, this um, setting on my EA fully auto on my uh, big accounts like this accounts, right? So that's why I created this new cent account. Okay. And um, I put there uh, $500, which end up as uh, 491 and uh, shows as you can see 49,000. Okay, so cents account once again. So that's good for testing the strategy. So I just want to see um how we will go through this uh, time okay because you see the last two months uh, on other accounts uh it was going quite well but uh, we didn't have uh, when the gold just goes into the um, um, narrower flat area okay and uh, so i want to see how bigger the lot size can be and actually will it blow account or not okay so 400 dollars is okay to lose uh to test that you've seen me losing before about the same amount using some uh, other ea uh, with different strategy and now this i uh, want to check if this is going to go through the tough period okay and i will be sharing it with you guys you can see this is uh, right now amount i want to show you actually i uh opened it on the 12th and already had uh, I only had it on because it was Friday. I don't like really uh, end of the week. So as you can see, I had uh, they had uh, one trade which closed out and uh, with a little bit of profit. OK, so there is a just a small 1.9 profit and um, that's it. I will probably uh, run it live from time to time during the day or night. Uh, I'll just um, keep it running and then you will be able to actually see how it's working okay so everything is open for you guys to see um, reality of it if it's going to work or not so I can see potential but as you know with the EAs it's very hard when it's fully automatically it's uh, it's very high risk I don't really like full full automatic um, EAs but um, I will see maybe like you see when I started with it on Friday I had uh, been I, I run it for a few hours and then I just switch it off for the week uh, for the weekend OK, and the same, I had some floatings on my main account and I closed out them. I had like a little a bit of the loss in there uh, afterwards when it was in a small recovery. But I just like to close all the trades. OK, so you see, like I have nothing uh, running. Uh, it's closed. And also with that other one, uh, I did not touch this one. I left it and you see the still three trades. That's from the um, um, from that EA. Um, still running those three trades okay so but like i said to you you see this uh, couple of uh, buys one sell and uh, uh, right now so we will see how this one will close but uh, i'm going to show you the other one and we will see what the drawdown will be it will be easier to track okay so just sharing with you um what i'm up to right now so quite excited about it hopefully it will work well uh but um there is no guarantee of course i will still continue with my um, usual trading of course uh, placing the orders and uh, as you can see guys of course with the automatic systems system it makes more profit right than um, my manual entry points 
but in my opinion, of course, manual entry points are safer when you just, uh, I'm looking for my entry points and then just the EA runs the rest, okay? The, um, with the other one, we will see how it's going to perform. Um, so that's the news. And um, now I'm going to give uh, a little bit of overview of the market, what happened, what we were expecting and what I will be expecting this week. And once again, if you're watching first time, it doesn't really matter which way the market goes. I'm placing orders. Uh, mostly both directions, sometimes it could be just one direction, of course, uh, but mostly it doesn't matter whichever way it goes, okay? And of course, you can join my Telegram channel, it's absolutely free, uh, Jana FX, okay? So that's my official channel, it's the only one I have, okay? Only one Telegram channel I have, um, that's it. So we have, this is the week, and uh, uh, the last week we stopped here, uh, so you see guys, the I'm still pretty bearish with gold. Uh, my expectation that it should still continue to go down based on what we heard from Fed. Uh, but the um, economical situation in the US is kind of a little bit uh, not very stable at this moment with the bank crisis. So that's why um, not excluding that gold still can continue the way up to, right? But my, my main opinion, it's bearish. Okay, so that's just uh, how I see it. And um, last week, so I was saying to you, so from here, I was expecting a bit of consolidation and possible continuation of going down. But at the same time, I was telling you that I will not be uh, excluding the possibility of correction. Of course, the, after this moves, we're expecting a correction where I point out about this area. And that's exactly what happened. The market uh, went up there didn't break out where I was saying, okay, if, for example, we'll get to this area, it will break out and stays above, then I was more con uh, convinced it would be continuing going up, but uh, it's broke and came back. And we actually had, I think here, I was sending the only one signal for sell in here. Uh, there was no buy signals. Uh, pending orders, okay, guys, it's pending orders. So when I'm sending pending orders, it doesn't mean I'm already into the trade. But when I have sometimes instant orders, that means I'm in trade. But usually I don't send those ones because they could be a bit delayed. If I go for just a bit of a scalping, you know, you might not get in time out of the trade. So that's why it's all pending orders. And here I had uh, only sell, uh, selling pending orders. Okay, so um, the market... Uh, came back in exactly the same area actually uh, where we started the previous week so we finished uh, the week about the same same situation right quite same situation nearly 2000 and then had a pullback from it again so we are back so what what is it now to be honest uh, when i saw it started to actually go quite fast yes my expectation was um if we on a smaller time frames you can see like right all of this area so that's how quite usually uh, easy to predict with gold if it goes it will take the uh, like bit of tops you see that's exactly what it did i thought if we will take this area go through and stay then i would have seen it continue a bit more and to be honest i would have considered this a bit more like a bullish flag but at this moment i uh, more consider that we didn't go further so i would uh, more towards um again going back down okay so continue go down if we will break all of this series 2000 again then i'm i'm expecting a good move uh to around 1968 so taking all of these bottoms okay covering the spin and probably from here uh a pullback so it could be a pullback or could be another drop but um i think more more it's going to be um, in my opinion, I would be still looking into the, you see, it's uh, like nearly 300 pips and usually gold, if it makes such big moves, it, it has a bit of a pullback. I mean, it might be not as, as high as, as strong pullback, but whatever, I would see this as a bit of a stopping point, okay, before the next continuation of uh, possibly, again, it could be a little bit of uh, consolidation here, something similar maybe we will see, or uh, could go big, a bit more further and then have a pullback and stop somewhere like we have all of these bottoms like okay 1936 um, that's what i was telling in the previous video uh it can possibly go into a bit of flat between the series of uh, 1936 possibly 1968 higher and maybe it will be trying to go 2000 a little bit higher uh kind of this area right so this area is still could be a little bit before the next um uh, meeting fed meeting I, I presume I would be more towards that situation of seeing what they're going to say next meeting. Um, 
Yeah, because everyone is expecting uh, at the end of the year, thinking about cuts in rates, but like in the previous uh, meeting, they didn't say anything about it. Not about cutting, possibly uh, they can continue rise. If you have to have, the, they might have another rise, or they will just be watching and, and might be slowed down, but they nothing about cutting it. So that's why my um, expectation still, we can either go in a little bit of consolidation and then see what happens in June, um, or it might still have a little bit more drop, I wouldn't expect, to be honest, all the way to where we had this open gap uh, because there is so much of uncertainty, uh, but still uh, looking towards uh, moving down. Okay, so that's just um, how I see it at this moment with everything, what I can see on, uh, on this um, uh, technical view. At the same time, of course, um, it can possibly, you see, we do have a little bit looking like a um, triangle. It can end up the pattern, right? So then we have two tops and two bottoms. So yes, from here, still it can possibly try to go up higher and maybe create us another a top right so um, lower than the previous ones because of course uh, it wouldn't have enough strength to go higher this time in my opinion but it still might from here not go straight way down but yes go and give us another top here somewhere and uh, from there already uh, started to fall and break so if if it will do something like this going up again give us whatever like a little come out little pin or something and then continue to fall down i think then would be like really nice and strong move straight to to the point like 1968 right so that's like get out from this um triangle so um, yes i mean it, it still can easily turn around into the bullish flag it still can do so we're still in a bullish uh trend as you can see it's big um, to break out the next bottom, we need right to, to turn it again back into the downtrend channel uh, because here we had the breakout of the first bottom, but now we have this bigger bottom to break. Okay, so yes, basically, if we'll break that bottom and start it to pull back or something, then I would be more towards we are back into the downtrend channel and on our way further down. Okay, but we didn't do it yet, so we didn't take this bottom yet, so that's why, of course, this area is still. Uh, it can end up as a triangle, uh, one possibility, yes, we can go back up, we can stay here and then who knows anything else and then still can jump, right, and then, and, and then be inside this downtrend channel because, up, uptrend channel, because it did kind of touch this level, right, so a little bit uh, sits inside still and uh, bottom let's say wherever it might go a little bit down again and then try to back up so bottom higher than the previous one so we still do have this yes we are still inside this and uh, we can go we can turn around and, and even here i had uh, buy orders i had one like pending buy order which i cancelled when um, it just uh, was uh, too slow which i cancelled but actually uh, we did have this uh, a little bit of move but I cancel it because I didn't think it will be a strong, but this uh, this opening we will see once again if um, uh, wherever you see the same area. So of course I will be placing my orders as usual, guys. As you can see, uh, it's slightly below though the previous. That that's what I was using, right? Remember I was using this area. I have been placing orders here and here and in the same roughly plus minus area. So if we will open the market, nothing will be happening. So that would be uh, uh, my um, orders, okay? So I'll be just placing it right here. So with a little bit of, if it will start to move in here and uh, see if we are actually will decide to go up. So I presume if we will be trying to break out, then taking all of these tops and go higher and try to get um, to this. Well, I will still keep that one just in case, right? So if it might go up, and um, have again whatever try to break out but not if it will break it then again i will be looking at possible continuation up one of the opportunities uh, one of the scenarios uh, and of course looking at possible entry points again in the same area okay so that's uh, possible and at the same time from here we might go down but we, then we will see if it will be uh, trying to break the thousand uh, or will be trying to go back up again so you see, that's how I use and um, the, my strategies of, let, let's say we go down, you see it's uh, nice and healthy, like nearly 100, high a little bit like 80 could be pips, 600, but with my original setups, uh, remember a smaller profit first, and then uh, the rest uh, of the 
trade can go by trading stop okay so we will see and if there will be opportunities to get into the trades more and more so if uh, maybe it will decide to go high a little bit and also slow down and you see i might move my levels because i still had those areas and then quite easily i can go into those areas if it will open the market and then jump a little bit and uh, then we will see so maybe i will be moving them a little bit around you see so plus minus but i will be working with this area to place my orders so right now i'm going to remove them because you never know if it might open with the gap uh first and uh, of course with the opening the market we will have wider spread so that's why no never place any orders before open of the market and uh, in few minutes or about hour I usually would wait uh, I will see where to place those orders so that's how I'm going to start and then we will see what's going to happen and then where uh, I will be placing new orders and also of course um, with the uh, uh, running the EA on the other account I will not be placing my orders out there the other one will be just uh, the center account I will be showing you there there will be just uh, pure automatic um applying of the ea okay so i will not be touching it manually so well that's it guys um everything i wanted to tell you for now uh, happy trading everyone and i talk to you in my next video bye everyone